thank you all so so much for all of your constant support and your love really really means a lot guys please keep supporting me like comment and subscribe if this reading resonated with you guys and also if you want to book a personal reading with me or if you want to talk about anything i'm always there for you guys and you can talk to me about anything i'm always there for you to express your feelings or your take me as a friend and you can talk to me about anything literally so contact me and all of the details as in the description so let's just begin with today's reading today's reading i will be using some lovers oracle cards for you giving you the universal guidance or the guidance from the spirit guides and angels just let's get into the reading today guys and we will see what else is coming up for you for the day Hi, Leo, sun moon rising and venus signs what is coming up for you guys leo sun moon rising and venus signs leo Five of fire, the hanged man coming out, we have the star card coming out, all cards in reverse except the five of fire which means that there is going to be some kind of um, passionate uh, new beginning for you, Leos, okay things are turning out in a very very different way for you, you've never experienced this kind of a feeling okay flow of information and communication is coming up for you guys and today you're going to express your individuality and exert your influence on the people around you and it's time for you to do not take advantage of the ideas of others be sure to give the people around you credit and be sure to kind of give the input of how you are whatever you are try to be yourself today and you're going to be very very creative today which can also create a lot of good beautiful opportunities for you guys so try not to take other side here making you try to stand by yourself and you will win yourself right what is coming up for your love situation just one more card guys what is coming up for your love situation my beautiful beautiful oh my goodness just crashing okay and i told you guys these cards are very very hard for me to shuffle but somehow i just love this deck eight of fire so passion passion everywhere leo is like literally you might even ignore it because you feel you're just done with the space of your life but mm -mm, it is not going away from you and you're just like how can i let this go how can i make this go away from me right leo's so passion everywhere like no matter who you meet they're going to want something passionate from you they're going to want something really really loving and something that is uh, very much into depth with their passion with you guys and maybe you are not even bothered but somebody out there really really wanting something very much into they're very much going to be into you they want something passionate they want something loving with you that is the energy right now and yes guys keep watching for the angel this guide. is your angel message angel guidance for the day guys we have the pile number one card number one card number two and card number three so take your time to see what decks attract you the most feel free to pause this reading select the deck and choose it because that will give you a detailed insight into what you're going through and what you must do right now at the moment right so card number one okay we have the forgiveness stop focusing your past events it's time for you to forgive so for those of you who chose this card it is all this represents that you 
somebody has done something wrong to you and to move on and to go into your spiritual journey all you must do is you must forgive this person and you must let go of this person start your new life or whatever it may be forgiveness is very much required in your situation if you do not forgive this person if you do not let the situation go with forgiveness then things are really not going to go well for you guys or you will not be able to move on from this situation that has happened right now so it's good if you forget forgive this person forget this person or forgive this person and get back with this person whatever it is a forgiveness is very much required here that is what we have with this card okay now i will be moving on to the card number two we have the embrace so it's time for you to stop complaining and accept the things that has been happening for you and that has happened for you if you accept and embrace things it will really make you happy it will take your mindset into a different level and it will also help you grow on your spiritual journey so no matter what has happened in the past if you want to forget it it's okay you can forget it but just before you forget it try to embrace it completely and then forget it so if you're ex embracing what everything that you've gone through there is no need for you to go through it after this situation okay so for those of you who are not embracing the bad moments as well as good moments it is going to not do good in your future because those of you who are not embracing are the only people who will have a lot of traumas in their life and that will have a lot of influence on your daily activities so it's time for you to embrace and let it go so try to embrace it before you let it go and try to accept certain things in your life before you let it go okay so that is the angel guidance message for you i will be moving on to the card number three now we have the twin flames beautiful so it can be any situation you guys are in a relationship separated seeing someone else third party all of karmic uh things going on in both of your connection with each other no matter what it is guys the person whom you're with is your twin flame the person who you've been thinking about while you clicked on to your reading is your twin flame especially if you uh, clicked on this pile and you're watching this uh, reading for this card this relationship is a divine relationship which is meant for you and this person to come into a divine union and the situation especially if you are in a separation this is a twin flame runner and a chaser stage mm -hmm. maybe you're running behind this person or they are running behind you okay this is called as a runner and a chaser stage and um, do not worry the passion is still there between you guys there are strings attached which are invisible between the two of you and the destiny will be bring you both together and you do not have to worry about anything the passion is still there and no matter which karmic relationship this person is in it is something that they will deal with and they will come right back to you because your connection is much more than a karmic so you don't have to compare it with a karmic okay in case if you're doing that if you're feeling bad and stuff do not feel bad because this person is for you and only for you understand that and you will uh, feel great about whatever is happening in your life guys this is the angel guidance for the day and thank you all guys see you tomorrow bye